Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to EVE Online. Now, today we're going to have a good look, good look at setting up for missions. Now, I mentioned in the previous episode of our Getting Into Nullsec series that one of the first things you're going to need is the ISK. Uh, this is going to be used to purchase skills that you'll need to not only fly in Nullsec, but to get more ISK so that you can be ready to fly in Nullsec. Um, it'll be used to get ships. It'll be used as your... Uh, kind of like your primary bank account you'll draw draw from uh, for the first bit. It's uh, a little bit harder to make money out in NullSec, though there's a lot more money out in NullSec once you learn how to acquire it or are capable of acquiring it. Now, today we're going to go over a lovely little program, um, the e-fitting tool for those who are familiar with it. And we're also going to look up how to like really look up a mission. Uh, for higher level missions, this is a necessity. Uh, lower level missions, so-so, but... I need to know the damage I was fitting out a mauler here, which is our Mar cruiser, and it is a very tank-heavy cruiser. Um, its bonuses, we'll pop up this little info thing here, uh, like five percent medium energy turret. So we fit, we have mediums on it, or we just hit medium energy turret four. Uh, so those will be putting out some lovely damage. Uh, four percent bonus to all armor resist, so it's going to be able to shoot things out of the sky and tank anything that shoots back. We have fifteen drone bay. We'll probably put in hobgoblins. Um, just because they're, ugh, due to, I mean, there's not going to be, like, we need to shoot fighters. I mean, frigates, not fighters. Ugh. We need to shoot frigates, and the medium guns, I don't know if they'll be so competent if a frigate gets in close on us uh, and orbits at a couple thousand meters. These are a little bit longer range. These are beam lasers. You can see our fall is about 29, our optimal is about 23. Um, we'll be, I'm looking to fit dual laser types, and we'll do all of that when we get to the EFT. First of all, we need to look up the mission. Which mission is it? And this mission is from a little while ago. The bonus is already over. over. It's the Mission of Mercy. So we're going to highlight this. Right-click, copy selected, and we'll, we will could use the in-game browser. I'm not going to use the in-game browser. I like using my Google Chrome because Google Chrome is amazing. So, right-click here. I'm gonna paste. I'm going to go to... Eve, and we have right here is evesurvival.org, or just several other ones. And Mission of Mercy Level 2 tells us what faction we're playing against, uh, what type mission, space type, damage dealt is thermal and kinetic. Recommended damage dealing is thermal and kinetic. They recommend us being in a cruiser. Yay, we have a cruiser. Uh, recommended generic setup long range. Difficulty is hard. They want to take out lieutenants slash everyone before the medical drone blows up. You can complete remotely, and we'll go over what that means in a little bit here. Uh, there's no aggro in the first pocket. They give you all the different spawns, how much time, or whatever the uh, recommendations are. It also gives a blitz option, which we're going to go ahead and try. Is you can kill the lieutenants only. You don't have to shoot the frigate uh, fighters. So we might just fit... Uh, we can't really fit a bigger drone. Um, if we fit a hammerhead, which is a medium drone, it'll, we can only fit one that could fit a hobgoblin. They're not really going to help us much. And they would be able to fit heavies uh, or sentries. We don't have the skills for heavies or sentries right yet. So, this, this really isn't a drone boat like our Dragoon was. My goodness, that thing was awesome. Anywho, this is going to be a very quick, complete mission. It was worth about a 300... Oh, let's pull this back up. It was worth almost four, oh, just over 400,000 ISK in a mission. And they're giving us an estimated complete time of... Two to five minutes using the blitz, four to ten without. Our reward is 300,000 ISK, 477 LP, 254,000 ISK if you get done within five hours and 59 minutes. The bonus. Uh, that's a higher reward than what we got. What's up with that? Uh, mercenary commanders, 85k. Mercenary lieutenants, 90k each. I was looking at about a half a million in bounty if we kill everyone. So. I'm um, probably going to skip the frigate, so we'll still get most of this. And we will see. That can't be completed remotely. Look at that. Alright. So, now we need to figure out... We need to damage tank uh, thermic and kinetic. And these really aren't the best plates, so we aren't going to use them. Um, what we're going to use is our EVE fitting tool. I'll put a link to this in the description so you guys can go find it. And what I've set up here is I've built a mauler. Uh, using, I've named it Dr. Awesome's Missions. Um, we're using Dr. Awesome PhD in here. And I put in three hobgoblins. And I could exit them off so we can just see what the turrets are doing for damage. 
we have focused medium, uh, focus modal medium laser wands, which is what we have up here. I already installed them for us. And what if part of this fit is we're only gonna be able to do 14 minutes 12 seconds, so we're not gonna be able to run the uh, medium armor reconstructor as fast as we can. I mean, it's not gonna. We can't always run that without like not thinking. Uh, running the gammas uh, laser crystals, which is the second shortest range crystal uh, behind the multi frequency, it's also the second highest damage. Looks like for this mission, we're gonna be fitting microwave to start at least. We're gonna lose a lot of damage, but it's also gonna push our alt optimal out. Uh, maybe we should infrared, a little bit higher. We'll check in game. This is another thing. You, it's it helps a little bit sometimes to check in game for crystals and comparing things and such. Crystals medium. This is easier to scroll down through this. Thirty-seven point five percent reduced. I want to increase it. Get right up to our fall off range. Twenty-three and twenty-nine. Let's see if I can increase it by twenty percent. Twenty percent increased optimal. There we go. Infrareds. Suddenly improved range. We'll go see what the TFT has to say. EFT has to say about that. And we're already on infrareds, aren't we? Lovely. Looking at 69 DPS, uh, 255 per volley. It'll put our uh, optimal range right on our fall off range. So this is the maximum range. If you want to bring that in just a tiny bit, I'll go back to the grouping here. 4% increase, increase, reduced, reduced. Really big increase, uh, not much of a change. Let's see, 12.5% reduced. 25% uh, reduced. So standards might even be an option here. Um, aside from that, it's 40% increased, 20% increased. And what was the smallest decrease? Ultraviolets. Uh, standard infrared. Okay, we're going to look at infrared. Let's see what we can get here. Infrared is 69. If we were to fit standard, 78. Eh, 9 DPS change, a little bit higher in the volley. We'll kill things a little bit faster. I'm not super worried about it, though. Um, standard will also give us cap stable at 49%. Uh, infrared will give us a 44%. If we were to put on multi frequencies, because they don't get they have don't get any bonuses towards helping with the capacitor. So, anywho, we're gonna we're gonna plan putting on infrared. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy some infrareds. I'm also gonna buy some gammas. Um, just for short range engagements, we have any, any engagements that we're dealing with short range. Eh, I close out of it. All right, so we are going to take some. What did I decide on? It was infrareds. Ha 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 ha! I can remember things. All right, so we'll go ahead and buy these. We have five turns, so I'm going to go ahead and buy ten of these. So we have two sets. Ah, uh, Mars. They don't necessarily use ammo, but the crystals do get damaged over time. So. They will eventually break. And so we're going to need uh, to have replacements. I can buy two of these for a slightly lower price. And for a slightly higher price, I can buy my other eight. It's a little bit better on the money. I did look at faction and pirate ammo for this, and I do not believe it's going to be worth the difference that we'll be having. There is a huge difference. Or what are these others? Impair. Oh, it's my cup. That's fine. Never mind. All right, I was looking for my uh, pick up some hobgoblins, but if my dragoon, but my dragoon's not here, it's off somewhere else. Anywho, back to here. We'll pick those those hobgoblins, uh, combat drones, light scouts, hobby ones. Buy this. We'll buy ten. Even though we can only fit three in our drone bay. We'll bring the other three, bring the other seven to the station as we all the restock them as we need. All right, so we have our drones. We're gonna go back to the EFT, and the EFT very conveniently. If I go into engineering equipment, which is very necessary for running a uh, armor rep, uh, armor tanked ship, if you need an armor rep, which requires a good big capacitor. If you say I click on capacitor rechargers, which is the medium slot for uh, engineering equipment. It ranks them by their cap recharging capabilities. If I recall, why is it not? It's acting like it's different. 
Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Oh. What is it doing? It's acting so funny. Aha. There we go. Now it's ranked better. So the Palisade will be the best. Um, it will give you the max capper charge for the least amount of like, CPU and power grid requirements. Capture charge you can see the same, but the Palisade has uh, seven less CPU requirements. I took up the first one that we can get. Uh, is 18%. It's almost a Tech 2, but it's not Tech 2 requirements. But three of those on here, those are running, I can't remember what they're running. I think like 600, almost 700,000 ISK a piece. It's a little bit more expensive, but then we can go in the power. Uh, that's why I picked those, is they're not that expensive. I had to check them in game. Uh, for beta con reactor controls, the highest one we could find that wasn't a, a level 2. The moat in the, for the last one, the Palisade, I could not find them. They're not, not even on the market. Um, not saying they can't be on the market, but I think they're a little more valuable that people don't want to not have them. So, well, they're more valuable than you'd find them regularly. It's kind of surprising. This is Jita. It's going to be anywhere. It would be here. Weird. Anywho, going back, those are the two capacitor things we need. We only have one of these up here. Uh, we are, I also did put in two rigs. Uh, we are working on jury, jury rigging. Uh, two and three so we can get some energy weapon rigs so we can give, increase these guys DPS a little bit It'll kill things a little bit faster for us But we have to wait for that. It's gonna take a little bit and we're running a little bit low money But I think we should be plenty fine to finish fitting this thing out now going to hull and armor Click right here armor hardeners. I checked armor hardeners versus energized membranes versus resistance platings Resistance platings and energized membranes do not use cap, which is nice uh, resistance platings uh, barely use any uh, they don't use any CPU. Uh, they're between uh, resistance platings and energized membranes. Energized membranes are better. Uh, they give you high resists. Uh, example, EM plating one, 20% for uh, resistance plating. EM basic mem uh, energized EM membrane is 32.5%. Uh, the downside is it takes up a good bit of CPU. Is what the energized membranes take up. They still don't take up cap. Armor hardeners take up CPU and cap, but you'll also notice 50%. If you overload it, 20% more on the overload, which we're not going into overloading in this episode. Anywho, they take up cap, but they give you a lot higher damage resistance. As you can see, our numbers over here for having two of each, and I used the highest T1 we could. Uh, I checked the prices, so it wasn't something absurd. And... 83.8% and 81.3% of the two damages, uh, thermal and kinetic, that will be have to tank, and so we will only get 16.2% and 18.7% of the damage they deal will actually hit our ship, we'll actually be able to damage our armor when we get to armor. Uh, the shields we don't care about, meh, whatever. And our armor rep, medium is one of the highest is the highest that being like a really kind of faction one uh and tech two so i chose one right over tech two it was pretty it wasn't a bad price one so we're gonna go ahead and fit this ship out and we will be going out in the next episode this is kind of how you plan for it and use the eft i hope you guys enjoyed this and you guys stick around hope you guys have a great rest of your day <laughs>